This is the Ross Developers Podcast, episode 44. The Ross Developers Podcast, the Ross Developers. Hello, ROS developers, and welcome to the ROS Developers Podcast, the program, the podcast that gives you insights from the experts about how to program your robots with ROS. This is Ricardo Tellez speaking from The Construct, and today I would like to dedicate the podcast to all those ROS developers that are planning to attend a ROS conference during this summer. There are several RAW summer schools and conferences around uh, being, for example, the RAW DevCon, or the one that we organize at the Construct, one of the examples, but many others also available. So I will put, if you are interested on that, uh, I will put a link beneath this podcast with all the summer schools that are available so you can choose the one that fits you better. And today I'm very honored to introduce you Xinyu Chang. Dr. Chang is Associate Professor of Robotics and ROS at East China Normal University, as well as the Director of the Intelligent Robot Laboratory at this university. He is also the founder of the China ROS Education Foundation, which is a non-profit organization aiming at enhancing ROS, you know, our preferred uh, robot operating system. For, uh, so he, they want to, um, at this organization, they want to, uh, to help uh, learning, training, and the creation of applications all around China. Uh, we came to China to talk to you with uh, Dr. Chang about, uh, about the Ross Summer School that he organizes every year since 2015. And uh, this year is going to be the fifth edition, by the way. And, this summer school gets so many students on each edition that it's, it's amazing. It's massive summer school, I would say. It is the one and only raw summer school in Chinese. And uh, Dr. Chan is here to explain us how he has managed to get such success. Welcome to the podcast, Professor Chang. Hello, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for introduction. Our pleasure, of course. So we are here in beautiful city of Shanghai at the university, and um, uh, we are eager to start asking you questions and uh, about the summer school. And I think that the first one for me is, uh, what is the purpose of your summer school? Why do you do this uh, summer school? I used to work in uh, South Korea and the US. I come back to China in uh, 2013, uh, 2013, and as a associate, as a faculty in East China Normal University. And I know a, a few people, they are learning and use ROS in China. So at that time, the, that, uh, the group is very small. Uh, everyone asks how to use ROS. I have difficulty in using ROS. I want to learn ROS. Some company, some some engineers in companies ask, okay, can you introduce any student who wants to join our company, the who know a little about the ROS? Uh -huh. So, but at that time, that community is very very small. Okay, most of the time we communicate online, use some uh, software like uh, Facebook or the. QQ or WeChat. Uh -huh. And what time was that? What year? It's, uh, I think it's uh, five or six years ago. No, 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 no. It's six, uh, six years ago, yes. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, 2013. Yeah, 2013. Okay. 2013, okay. And uh, at that time, I started this uh, laboratory in, the, in our university. It's an uh, intelligent uh, robotics and laboratory and also, our students struggling learning ROS is very hard. So uh, later we meet, we met a few friends and uh, the other faculties. Then we discuss why not we 
have a, a activity. So we put we invite all the students and uh, experts, even uh, university faculties, to come to give some uh, talks, uh, lectures, or courses, so other students can learn together. Uh -huh. So this is the beginning of the Ross, Ross Summer School. Okay. But that is uh, 2015. 2015, uh, we talk about this issue at uh, June. Uh -huh. Then one month later, we start the Ross Summer School. No way. So you organize everything in one month? In one month. In one month. <laughs> uh, at that time, we thought maybe the, there are no many students. That community is very small. Uh -huh. Maybe. 50 or 60 students or uh, engineers will come to our school. Uh, then we have the very small uh, lecture room just beside this building, uh, just beside this room uh -huh. over there. And surprise, it's to our surprise, <laughs> actually more than 150 students and uh, software engineers wow. and all over the nation mm -hmm. from the I think from the 40 or 50 universities wow. and uh, more than uh, the I think 40 companies wow. come to <laughs> this campus no no they are we didn't prepare very well so <laughs> you think so many students so many people Packed in the one room, <laughs> it's very hot. Very hot the yeah. temperature, tell you the truth, the temperature is about 35, 35 degree in the room. It's very, it's very hot, it's yeah. very hot. But nobody leave, uh -huh. nobody, they just sit on the, on the floor, <laughs> yeah. So that's the beginning of the first Ross Summer School in China, okay. Uh, the purpose is, Actually, it's very simple. We want more people learn to learn ROS. We want to accelerate, accelerate ROS learning in China. Uh -huh. So it's very good. It's very good for academic robot, yeah. robotic research and even for industry robotic uh, companies. They need more qualified engineers. For us, we want the student can learn ROS more quickly, efficiently. Certainly, the four days or seven days is very short, but it's still good opportunities for them to learn ROS. Okay. Yeah, because it's uh, condensed yes. in in it's uh, one week long, isn't it? It's, uh, at first, first ROS summer is last uh, four days. Okay, the first one. But the second is seven days uh -huh. because they need more time. More time. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, yeah. get more requests to can we have more time to learn more about uh -huh. ROS. Yeah, uh -huh. and the language for attending this summer school. Uh, since this uh, this summer school is uh, <laughs> it's in China, so uh -huh. the official language is the Chinese. Okay. Uh, so, but we still invite some uh, the speakers uh, who speak English. Okay. So the second language is English. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, we all. We'll okay. Also. Okay, but uh, if somebody is else is around the world and is listening to the podcast, this podcast, and maybe they want to, oh, that sounds super interesting. So they have to be aware that uh, many of the uh, lectures, many of the sessions, are going to be in Chinese. Yes, and many lectures. Uh, many uh, lectures is given in Chinese, okay. but I think most of slides are in English. Uh -huh. this, <laughs> at least you can read the slides, <laughs> yeah, the lecture okay. slides. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, but that's normal also that's because normal. There, there are many uh, other, for example, they are appearing now like Roscon conference, local Roscon conference around the world that are, for example, there is one in, in Japan, which is in Japanese, and there is another one in France that is in French. So it's it's very... Normal it's to normal. have in the local in the local language, and um, so we and another we want to learn. Okay, so we are eager to create our own summer school. Let's say okay. So and we want to learn from the best. Okay, so that's why we have you here because of your super successful summer school. So uh, now let's talk about the location of uh, of this uh, summer school. Uh, where do you organize the 
in which location, the summer school, and why? Why do you select that place? You know, our university is located in Shanghai, this uh, international city yeah. in this world. And so we think we can do this because we are in this city. The traffic is very, very convenient. For yeah. example, if you traffic from uh, Beijing to Shanghai, it takes only five and six hours. Uh -huh. yeah. If you, tra you travel from uh, the center of China to Shanghai, it takes uh, uh, four or five hours. <laughs> so the traffic is a very is key factor okay. for, for if you want to attract the students or engineers from other cities, the traffic is very, very important. So make sure the traffic is convenient for other, other uh, students and the software engineers, they can easily reach this place. Okay. So for us, since we are in Shanghai, so okay, we, we think of Shanghai is a good place for the, the some school. And uh, also have to consider cost, so the money. Yeah. The issue, the financial issue, since we're in the in the in the university, and that time is summer vacation, uh -huh. so we can find the uh, the the place, the room, lecture rooms for this summer school. Okay, so, uh, so also for free. For, uh, okay. So free. So yeah. at the at the university itself. The university provide us the place. Uh -huh, uh, for that's the, very convenient. Uh, yes. So also that place should be uh, big enough. So after, you have to have some uh, tea break, coffee break. Uh -huh. After yeah. course, <laughs> you have to let the student and the software, eng software engineering to discuss. Then after the course, even the, during the, the tea break. Okay. So I think we, at that time, we found a good place, good city, Shanghai is a best city for this Ross summer school. Uh -huh. And also, the time is good because students that summer vacation, they can come to Shanghai. They have time. They have time, they have time. Uh -huh. And uh, we, first day and the second thing is weekend. So we <laughs> want more students, uh, more people can join us. So we arrange the first and the second day at the weekend. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. So I think the, the place, the city, the traffic, and the, the, the financial uh, issues are important uh -huh. for start a Ross summer school. Okay. Uh, okay, makes perfect sense. And uh, well, you, you mentioned that you have, uh, uh, for the first edition of the summer school, you prepare everything in one month around, but uh, I presume that for the next edition you took some more little time so for, to prepare in advance. So uh, when, when do you start to prepare the summer school and how many people participate in the organization? Uh, all the, actually we start this uh, raw summer school, we pre prepare the raw summer school after the semester. Okay. So, yeah. Which is when? It's, uh, early June, okay. they, because we are quite busy, students are quite busy. So after semester, we immediately start the preparation okay. of the summer school. So usually it takes uh, two months to, for the preparation. And w one question then, uh, because usually for all the conferences and all the summer school, they start to uh, advertise themselves with many months in advance, but in your case, then it means that you are starting to advertise in two months yes. uh, at, at most. Is the most, only two months. Now it's uh, almost end of the April. We didn't prepare anything. Yeah, I know because <laughs> I was looking for information at the yeah, web and I couldn't find anything. it. <laughs> but uh, next month, we didn't, we did nothing. Okay. okay. <laughs> Actually, uh, we will do something we started the raw summer school, uh, in june okay but okay. the summer school will it will be arranged at end of july actually it takes uh, mo at most two months two months, uh, two months. Okay, okay. and how many people do you does it help you and um, most of my students their master students will be volunteer to contribute to the preparation of the raw summer school also, we invite some companies 
to uh, to to the Ross Summer School uh, Program Committee. Okay, they did a lot of work. Okay, uh -huh. for example, we have to prepare the website, and we invite many lectures, uh, the the speakers, and uh, we also have the poster, the T-shirts, uh -huh. and uh, even mock up uh, the cups uh -huh. and uh, many details. Okay. okay. <laughs> All these, all the, these things are, are contributed by my students. Most of them. Okay. 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 I see. So you have a team of, uh, let's say, 10, 10, 20 students. Ten, ten students. Ten, ten, students. ten students. Okay. Okay. And um, then, uh, well, you mentioned that your um, uh, your summer school it lasts for one week. Now is the standard time. One week. Yeah, one week. And then uh, where do all the participants stay during that time, the time of the summer school? Is the accommodation also arranged by, by you and your, and your team, or every student, every participant must organize themselves? Okay. In the first of the summer school, we consider this is a big, big issue. Yeah, I, I agree. Yes, the accommodation. Then we try to find the, the place for students to stay for at least uh, uh, three or four nights. Um, but it's very hard. It's very hard. At first, some, uh, some it's, it's uh, 2015, we discussed with some hotel where they can provide some special price for the, the living. Uh, but it's not that easy. No, not easy. But still, we found uh, many rooms. We bugging with a hotel and uh, find some special prize for students and uh, but later it actually that year it takes a lot of time to to do this later we think maybe uh, they can do them students can do them by themselves yeah okay they can find a hotel they can find a maybe more good hotel with a cheaper price yeah or maybe share yeah. rooms share with rooms with us with uh, somebody, uh, they are maybe uh, <laughs> uh, classmates. Exactly. Actually, from the second year, we didn't uh, the find a hotel for them, but we tell them hotel information. Uh -huh. We put the hotel name and the telephone number and uh, the the place, so where the the loc the, the location of the hotel, then uh -huh. we can call the hotel. Okay, is there a work? Is it there works very well. Okay. They can, even they can find some good place for living in, uh, what's the name? The Air, Airbnb? Uh, yes, know. Airbnb. Yeah. Yeah, Airbnb. Yeah. There are many ways uh, to find a good place for, for, for staying. Uh -huh. okay. So that's a big, not, now we think it's not, a, nobody asks us to help them for living. Uh -huh. Actually, I think we, we consider maybe that is not a big issue because this is uh, Shanghai. So there are many hotels, many, many ways for stay in Shanghai. Okay, and that was when you, you were doing the summer school in Shanghai, but I, I know that you have also organized the summer school in other cities. The, the same apply to all the other cities? So we have make sure this city have the good traffic good uh, uh, accommod accommodation and for example we have organized the Ross Summer School in Shenzhen uh -huh. it's still the very very big city okay. yeah. so that's why you have to have these uh, facilities for students yeah, for living for, for e eating okay 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 great and um, okay, so I already uh, um, asked you about the English or Chinese language, and then the uh, next question is: How do you finance the preparation of the summer school? So, do you get any financial support from your government or university, or is it entirely financial by the attendants, by the uh, students? Uh, so every year is uh, we we. We try different ways to uh, search uh, to f looking for the the support. For the first year, actually, uh, we got support from a few friends. 
because it's very hard for the first year. We think, okay, we should give, a, 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 for example, give some prize. We have some uh, Q and A. So if you answer question, we give some some a little <laughs> gift. And uh, the second year, because this the first year is very successful, so the second year our university and the government support us. They think, oh, this good uh, activity. Mm -hmm. So maybe we can good get a good op uh, uh, reputation for yes. our university. So we should support this uh, activity as well as some school. Uh -huh. Then they support us. In the second, uh, third year, we all also get a support from the, our university. But when we move to Shenzhen, we cannot get a support from the university. But we get a support, uh, we're looking for support from uh, other the organization, for example, the company and the, the national, some national uh, institute. Yeah. Since this uh, Ross Summer School, I think it is uh, very helpful for all the students and uh, the uh, robotics company. I think money is not a big issue. Many companies want to contribute to this, this uh, activity. Okay, I'm surprised to hear that. Yes, and what what do they get in in return? Uh, broadcast this okay. uh, advertisement. Okay, they can, for example, they distribute the product during the real summer school. Uh -huh. okay. okay, sometimes for free. Uh -huh. Okay. Wow. Yeah, for free. This, uh, I think, so in China, th this environment is very good. Yeah. They want to contribute to this. Uh, I think this uh, public activity for summer school. And sometimes they even don't ask for the reward. Okay. Okay. They want all oh, this, uh, maybe we can do something. Maybe okay, next year, maybe I just want to give a talk during the summer school. Okay. Oh, great. We didn't raise, uh, we actually didn't spend much time on raising uh, this uh, financial support. We just, okay, it's uh, just enough for this summer school, we just stop raising money. Okay. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> because of this, we are supported by government. We are university, we are faculty, we don't want have, we, for example, if we have more money, we don't know how to handle it. Yeah, what to do with it. <laughs> yeah, we do, how to do with uh, this money. So we just use it up. That's it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow, that's a nice situation to be on for for, for organizing the the summer school. But of course, you deserve it uh, completely. And um, yeah, so uh, yeah, so you have sponsorships and partnerships with the companies and all that. Um, okay. So let's go more to the structure of the summer school. So how how do you structure? I mean, uh, which type of lectures do you have? The, are they like a master class about a Ross subject or you are teaching specific Ross points? So how do you balance theory with practice? How do you structure the whole the whole event? Yes, uh, actually we divide or separate the courses in the summer school into a few uh, topics. The first one, we want a student to know what happened in industry and the academy. Uh -huh. That's very important. Yes. Yeah. Because some students, uh, the students, the master student, PhD student, they want to know what happened in academic. But some people from the industry, they want to know what can we do in, 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 in company. Yes. So in the first day, so every year in first day, we invite the, the faculty faculties and uh, the CTO of the robotic companies to share their experience. So what the, the state, of, uh, state of art in robotics, so what happening in robotics and- But you mean in robotics using ROS? Using ROS, using Specifically ROS. Specifically? Using ROS. Yeah, yeah. So, so what the ROS can help in industry company. So, uh -huh. so that's why that's really important. Every year we invite, probably invite fifteen, the people, to for the first day to share their experience. You know, after four and five years, some students, some 
speakers, some company become the giant in robotics. Uh -huh. From the small, the tiny company to the giant company in China. Oh. It takes only four and five years. Wow, impressive. Yeah. So most at the beginning, most of them are startup, but now they are bigger companies. Ah, okay. So there are some startups at that time when yes, you started. Yes. That yeah, now, who who is going to uh, contribute a unknown activity at the first year is an unknown. Yeah. But only startup want to share their experience. But after a few years, they grew up. Uh -huh. They grew up uh -huh. becoming uh, the giant in okay. in this field. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, and, and, and also, uh, so that's the first day. This first so day, the it's, it's, it's like the, so, sorry, it's like um, uh, a day just keynote, to get yeah the yeah keynote. keynotes exactly the keynote like speech. a speech and to get excited uh, the students about wow so we are going to be able to if we learn wrong yeah. then we will be able to do this and that yes, and yes that. yes okay that's very important first like, motiv yeah. motivate them. So and gives, and gives them a vision a of vision. what, because otherwise you, you, it's like when you were studying mathematics at the basic school and then you were saying, hey, yeah, okay, so I understand these mathematics, but for what do I yeah, want this? What? Why we learn ROS? Yeah, okay. exactly. We give them a big picture of the ROS and the robotics. Oh, interesting, so, very okay. good point. Then we start from beginning, from a second day, okay, we start from the very fundamental ROS, the ROS basics. For the Emperor. So, how to install ROS? Uh -huh. So, what should you learn before you start ROS? And uh, what's a ROS? So, what's a note? What's a master note? So, what's uh, the message topics? You know, how to communi communicate between uh, notes? So, very fundamental from the second day. Okay. Then we slowly, gradually move from the basic to the uh, advanced topics, for example how to handle, how to manipulate uh, robotic arms. Probably you can use a uh, move it. Uh, then we also include uh, some uh, more advanced topics from the computer vision and the slum in the later days. Yeah, that's why, that's the, the, the progress we, from the big picture, then from the beginning to the advanced topics. Yeah, I see. Okay, but and then the lectures are more about uh, showing what those subjects are, or how, so I presume that you are also making them do things. So program, actually program and uh, check. So they, it, let's say that they want to learn what is ROS topic. So you can explain that, but if they don't uh, apply into the creation of a program and see and test and so how do you balance uh, the amount of theory with practice how, how do you um, organize in this end at the daytime they take the course at the night time they have some uh, the homework okay they, because they come from the different university from the over the nation it's not easy for them to come to and uh, meet together. So we don't want them to waste, our time, waste their time. We don't want them go to to for- For party. <laughs> for party, <laughs> to, to drink. We have the, the activity at the night. Oh, wow. <laughs> Very good. So morning, afternoon, and the night. Okay, I like, oh, that, I like that very much. I, I like this procedure. Intensive course, very intensive course. Yes, that's exactly. So you are coming here. Is yeah, You are you coming are, here for... You are not come here, not for uh, uh, see, uh, uh, for tour, to the city, <laughs> to see, see some... Uh, the for party. The party to bar, not yeah. for that. You come here from southern kilometers away, yes. they come to this city just for Ross. So start Ross hard, very hard. Oh, I like it very much. <laughs> Work <These> hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's very yeah. nice. Yes, I, I completely agree on this approach with you. Yes, very, very good. And I, it makes me think and get me many ideas. So yes, so maybe I will take your, your uh, way of doing it and then apply it in, in our case. Super cool. Okay, so remember, if you are planning to attend the summer school, you are a listener of the podcast, then 
be aware. So you are coming here to work hard and work to hard. learn hard. Yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. And uh, then um, you, so how do they practice? Are they practicing using um, uh, simulations? Are they practicing using real robots? Uh, most of them, they practice in simulation environment because that is a uh, more convenient way for practice. Mm -hmm. But at night, actually very interesting, we have a uh, called a practice camp. Okay. We invite a company to uh, bring their product and they have a pr special, the the practice course for real robot. They bring ro real robot, for them. they bring robotic arm. For example? For example, they bring their product, they sometimes they bring turtle board uh -huh. because they are some okay. education company. Then the student at that, the camp, the student can practice, can handle the real robots. I think the handle to interact with real robot is very, very important for yeah, I agree. learning robots. I agree, yeah. Simulation is good, very good. Yeah. If you, you have no robot, simulation is the best environment for learning robots. But we hope students, in future, students will have to handle the real robot. So at the draw some school, we provide more opportunity for them to know how to handle real ro uh, robots. Okay, okay, completely agree. Yeah, yeah real every night, Every night we have the camp, practice camp. <laughs> okay. Handle the robots, do programming, okay. Okay, but if you have so many students, like uh, in some of those summer schools, you have maybe even had more than 200 students, yes. yeah? yeah? Then uh, how, how do you manage? How do you organize in order to use the real robot? Because when you are handling simulations, every student can have one simulation in his own computer, but if we are using real robots, the number of real robots is limited to maybe yes. how many? Five? Ten? I mean, ten for 200 people, that's a very few robots. How, how do you organize this? Okay. Uh, typically, we in the Ross Summer School, there are three, four, or five hundred students, but for the camp, we cannot have so many students to to participate in this uh, the practice, so we limited the number of the students. For the so night camp, night mm. night camp, ah. okay. For the night camp, it takes uh, typically the number of the students at night is uh, fifteen to uh, thirty. Okay. Um, how to handle? How to fill out the students? This this uh we handle this task to companies. If they, because the camp is organized by other companies. Ah, okay. I see, I see. They, can, they know how to handle it. Yeah. How, how to select, <laughs> select, the, the ones. select the best student, because I think they want something from this student. For example, they want the student, after graduation, yes. they want student to join their company, they come, probably. Yeah. They pick up the best student. Yes, okay. I see. I see, very clever. So you actually, you are outsourcing the yeah. selection of the... <laughs> the we, do, <laughs> we don't know so which student are really interested in this uh, topic, this yeah. camp, but I think other companies know how uh, to select. Okay, okay, okay. So in the other competitions, how it has been handled, it, this is an idea, okay, just in case that it helps, or maybe it may help also to the listeners, is, um, is that usually there is a kind of competition about that, and then there is a pre-selection of the competition on a simulation. So, for example, let's say that it's a, a, a robotic company that brings, a, it's going to use an arm, robotic arm, mm -hmm. And uh, then what they do, they can do is to create a simulation. They put it on online for everybody to download. And then they say, okay, so the ones that are going to participate in the, with the real robot mm -hmm. on, at the summer school mm -hmm. are the ones who achieve to make the robot uh, grasp a map and put it into a box. Yeah. I don't know. So they, they, they can practice, the student, they can try. It's a, pre-selection based on the results uh, of a simulation. Mm -hmm. 
So, well, that's an, an, an idea. Other competitions have done that. For example, the, the DARPA Robotics Challenge. Do you remember about yes. the humanoid? So they have applied this. Okay, so, um, uh, um, yeah, another question is that uh, in the web, uh, I have checked the previous uh, summer school's website, and then uh, you are indicating that the, the students have to participate into a competition. So how does it work? Wh when do they have this? In the, in the early mornings or the competition? Or <laughs> there is no more time. Uh, in the first summer schools, we didn't have the competition. But uh, in the third year, we still want to know, evaluate what they learn after seven days. Uh -huh. We want yes. to know so what you learn because before we just, okay, we finish our summer school. Uh, Everybody goes home. Goodbye, bye bye. Yeah. Okay. But uh, we want to evaluate. There are some ways, there are many ways to evaluate the, the learning. For example, exam, paper exam, or some something. But we want to do some practice, so we think probably the competition is the best way to evaluate the learning, the result. Okay, so actually our summer school not is not seven days; is eight days. Wow! Seven days is for learning. The last day is for computation. Uh -huh. Okay, eight, eight days. <laughs> so, uh. The, they, they are asked, the students are asked to build their team. Okay. Then they regist register their team online. Tell us so who is going to uh, uh, participate in this competition. And we, we divide the competition into three levels. The beginning level, the uh, middle level, and the advanced level. Okay, very okay. clever, yes. And, uh, also, we use a very, the con very uh, popular platform for competition. For, for example, TurtleBot. Okay. So we use TurtleBot. I know many students, many research laboratories, and uh, even companies have TurtleBot. So we use TurtleBot as a platform called for competition. But we give the different task for the different levels. We uh -huh. have three levels. Uh -huh. So for. Beginning level, for example, we let them to control the robot using handphone. Uh -huh. And it's very, okay. very not not that difficult. The middle level, we let them use a computer vision to follow, to to perform following. For example, I just follow your 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 master. Yeah. You just work work in the front of the robot, uh -huh. the robot will follow you. In the advanced level, we, the task is autonomous, the driving. Okay. So you have to use computer vision and make a decision whether we should turn left or turn right or move forward and backward. Okay. Uh -huh. That's uh, computation. Okay. okay. We also get uh, support from the companies. We have the prize for this, uh, the, uh -huh. the, the, for the winners. For the winners. For the winners. The first year, in order to encourage more teams to participate in this uh, competition, we give the cash wow. for them. Money. <laughs> Money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah I, I still remember the, the, in the advanced the, the competition is a Shanghai Technology University yeah. uh, win well, they won. the first, pl uh, first okay. place. They get the cash, three thousand RMB. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's about uh, four hundred euros, uh, five hundred dollars. Yes, yeah, around, around there. Yes, um, that's very interesting. We can then we organize or continue organize the comp competition. Probably we will continue this uh, competition in future. I think this is good, very good. Okay, yes, I completely agree because you have to evaluate and also you have to put the students into a stressful situation where they have to apply ROS. Because otherwise, and in my own experience also, I have detected that when you explain to the students but they know that they are not going to be evaluated, then it's like, okay, yeah, it's like water. You know, it, go, it comes and it goes. But when they have, they know that they have to uh, 
use it later, they take it differently. Also, what I have uh, detected is that the, is the exam, so the test, in that case that would be the competition, is a, a place, is a situation where the student learns a lot and the knowledge get, gets fixed in their brain in a, in a better way because it's under that situation that, that you are stressed because you need to get a result. And then many, many things they don't understand, but they try, they apply, then they get a result and that, because they are so stressed, they need to, to apply to, to, to get the result. That gets in some way in green in their brain. Yes. Yeah. So uh, I completely agree that this is necessary and I, I like the idea very much. But uh, another thing is that you, you touch a very important point. Uh, I forgot to, to write a question about that, but you, you, you put it into the table. It's about the levels, the difference of levels into the summer school. So you mentioned that you, you for the test, for, the, for this um, project, for that competition, sorry, is uh, you, you have set, created three different levels. And then how, how do you manage during the whole conference the difference of levels of people who attend to your conference, um, to your summer school? I mean, it's uh, um, all the, the participants start with more or less the same level or do the attendants, the students have different levels? And then how do you organize the lectures so not to bore one part of the audience and because it's too difficult or too easy? Yes, it uh, depends on uh, when we give the lecture, give the, the, give the lecture. At the first year, is the lecture is very, very basic. Okay. Because most of the students even don't know Ross. Yeah. Never. Yeah, yeah. Never heard. Yeah, never heard of Ross. Okay. Even we teach how to use the Linux. Okay. <laughs> you have to. But the, gradually, we realize the attendees become uh, uh, familiar with Ross. Uh -huh. So we include more advanced the topics okay. in Ross some school. But we still keep very fundamental part because still every year there are some beginners come to yes. our summer school. Yeah, but yeah. that begin since probably for uh, four and five years ago, the lectures, online lecture is not that sufficient. It's not a sufficient yeah. yet. But now there are many, many Ross lectures, uh, tutorials, even simulation environment, for example, the reconstructor same. The, uh, okay. okay. <laughs> so they can use this uh, material for learning the very basic Ross. Okay. But for advanced topics, okay, probably you, they want to know more about advanced topics in Ross summer school. So we include more advanced topics in, uh, in the later draw some schools and uh, probably in future. Okay. Okay. Let the student learn the very basic the concept uh, online, for example, for, from the other tutorial, from other sources, uh, resources. Okay, and then, uh, so they, at least they know about the, what is the topic yes. and how to create a note, or this is very quickly explained here, very quickly, and then you dedicate more time to more advanced topics, more interesting topics, like making a robot navigate or a drone fly yes. in an area. Actually, in the later Ross summer schools, we include more theoretic, theoretical uh, concepts. Like what, for example? For example, uh, computer vision uh -huh. and slum. Uh, okay. So they need these uh, advanced topics for future job. Okay, yeah. yes, that's correct. Okay, okay I see, yeah. I see. N nice, very interesting. Um, so we are about to finish in a few questions more, and we, we leave it here. We got already more than 40 minutes in the interview. It's getting so interesting. So um, one question uh, is about, uh, are you recording or transmitting online the summer school? So I, I have seen some comments requesting this at the Ross discourse. Yes, yes. We record all the all the courses and we upload all the courses online. 
but is uh, in the uh, is a video website called Yuku. Yeah, so it's it's for the ones that who doesn't know, Yuku is like the Chinese version of YouTube. Yeah, is it equi version. equivalent? Equivalent. Equivalent. Yeah, Chinese version YouTube. Uh, yes, since we cannot access, sorry, uh, it's not convenient to access a YouTube in China, so we cannot put the video on there. YouTube there. Yeah, yeah, because it's not legal and, and here in China. It's it, legal, but uh, it's legal. not easy. Not ah, easy. okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there are some difficulties accessing the YouTube. So the, if you are in China, then the normal way is to use Yuku. Yuku yeah. So you can, and Yuku is accessible from outside China, yes, of course. Acceptable, acceptable from outside China. Yeah. yeah, so no problem. I will put a link to the lectures of Dr. Chang in uh, Yuku, so you can find it beneath this podcast. And, okay, so which things do you have to, to improve for this next edition of uh, the edition of this year? What have you learned from the previous uh, sessions from the previous summer schools that you would like to improve in this year summer school. Actually, at the beginning, actually, the one of the initial purpose is encourage student and uh, more people to build com robotics company. Actually, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. We still in future we still consider include some session for startup share the experience how to start a company. That also we want to probably invite more uh, faculties to include some theoretical uh, lectures about uh, robotics. That very, I think that's the fundamental of us. You have to learn some theories, then you can move very quickly in learning ROS. Okay. okay. But uh, building company, I think, and uh, tell other students or other people how to build a robotic company. So what's uh, challenging when building a company? I think uh, that's what we want to include in the future summer school, raw summer school. Wow, that sounds super interesting. Very good point, very good point. I th and also it's innovative because I think that no other summer school of Ross is targeting that point. So it's, it's a point of using Ross for building your robotics startup. Ah, that's cool. That's cool. So uh, then, uh, finally, when is it going to be the 2019 summer school? Do you have an exact date? So uh, and any so that uh, any web listeners can can register already. Well, you mentioned that until the uh, June you are not going to start organizing. So I think that this question doesn't make many sense. <laughs> so <laughs> I think the time is fixed. Yeah. Oh, the end, okay. of, end of July and uh, early August. Okay. Is every year we start from the from July 25th. Is that, that is uh, maybe around that time, okay. end of July. But the location, we still looking for the good candidate city for the fifth Royal Summer School. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 So you, you listeners, you will have to be stay tuned and uh, check in uh, web the website of the summer yeah, school? We have, we have the website for uh, arrange all the material and uh, for the, all the raw summer schools. Okay. okay, I will put a link to their website beneath the podcast so you can check the, the website and be updated about the, the uh, when it appears, when you can register and uh, check everything in material. Okay, so that is all for this interview. Thanks a lot, Professor. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, Ricardo, to come to Shanghai yeah. and have this uh, very interesting interview. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Actually, I, I was telling to Professor Chang that uh, it's amazing uh, place, this university uh, environment, that the area that you have here is super beautiful. Really recommended to anybody that comes to Shanghai to come to the, uh, the name of the university is, uh, let me, I have it here. Okay, East China Normal University. Super beautiful. I'm visit, of course, uh, Dr. Chang. Thank you, thank you, man. Welcome to Shanghai, the international uh, city. 
It's very, very amazing city. If you want to come to our summer school, you want to come to uh, Shanghai, please contact me. Okay, I will put his details, contact details on beneath the podcast. And that is all uh, for the listeners. Let me, t- uh, let me tell you also that we have launched the second edition of the ROS Developers Conference. The ROS Developers Conference is a hands-on conference. And what does it mean? It means that you will not have just to attend and listen to the speakers, but also practice at the same time as the speaker is speaking. So you're going to be applying the same steps that the speaker is doing in your computer. It's an online conference, so you don't have to travel. You don't have that uh, hassle. But and then you will only need to have is a computer with a web browser, and then to connect to the conference, and uh, then start programming draws in, online uh, at the same time as the speaker. So check all the details at the web address rossdebcon.com. And that is all for today. Uh, well, Ross developers. See you next week with a new lesson from the expert and from the expert. And until then, keep pushing your Ross learning, guys. The Ross Developers Podcast. The Ross Developers. The Ross Developers Podcast. The Ross Yes, sir.